Gets Easier by Jason Isbell is going to be played out of standard tuning and will come out of the intro begins on an A minor. I will say that uh, the song is being played on electric, but it translates just fine to an acoustic. The opening chord in A minor, you're going to have an open five string. Your second finger will be on the four string two fret, your ring finger on the three string two fret, your first finger on the two string one fret, and an open one string. You'll strum from the open five string down, and the strumming pattern will be down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Up. And then it's that same strumming pattern will keep for the intro. You'll go from an A minor to an E minor. The E minor will be second finger on the five string two fret, ring finger on the four string two fret, everything else open. Up, or, or down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. E minor to the A minor. When it returns to the A minor, I feel like you can hear Jason as we'll lift up his second finger to expose the open four string, and then hammer back down with second finger back to four string two fret. And there's probably a lot of interplay that can happen with hammer-ons with uh, ring, pinky, and first finger in this A minor chord. Okay, whenever we move to the verse, you're going to walk to a C chord by hitting your second finger on the five string two fret, and then moving with your ring finger to the five string three fret. With your second finger going down on the four string two fret, you'll still have an open three string, and your first finger will still be on the two string one fret. The verse, most of it's going to be pretty simple and will transition between a C chord and an F chord with only the use of your pinky finger. So this will be our C chord, standard C major chord. For the F, take your pinky and just put it down on the uh, four string three fret and strum from the five string down with everything else in the same position. And then you lift your pinky finger to go back to the C. Now transitioning between the C and the F a lot of times you can hear Jason Esbull lift up his second finger to expose the open four string while it's coming back into the C. And that's the uh, that's most of the verse right there. That's the first several movements of the verse. The strumming down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down. Kind of the same feel as the intro. So after it vamps back and forth between the C and F, let me make one point here. The bass guitar, this may sound unnatural at one point of the song to just vamp between C and F, even though this is absolutely what Isabel is doing, but uh, Jimbo Hart on the bass at one point goes from the C F vamp and he runs up to the five, which is that G note. So if you keep feeling yourself wanting to go that's not actually what the guitar is doing. The bass does do that, but it will stay solid on the C to F. Uh, after that vamps like four times, the next change is a D minor to a G major to a D minor to a G major. The way the D minor gets played is an open four string, second finger on the three string two fret, pinky finger on the two string three fret, first finger on the one string one fret, strumming from the open four string down. The G chord, reach with your second finger, or reach with your ring finger to the six string three fret. Let your ring finger block out the five string. Strings uh, four, three, and two can be open, and your pinky finger gets pulled back to the one string three fret. So D minor to G, same strumming pattern here, but D minor to G, D minor to G, and then back C, F. And that repeats for another verse. Uh, and then after that, it goes into the course of... So you're going to walk down to an A minor out of that C by going like a down-up chunk strum. The down is the C chord. The up is you want to move your second finger to the five string two fret and try to let your thumb or something mute out the six string. You don't want that to ring through. Just kind of ring through for me, but down-up so that you're emphasizing that B note and then into the A minor. Um, so A minor, the chorus will be A minor to a G chord to an F chord. And you can make the exact same F chord that you made earlier. If you want to take your second finger 
and uh, put it down on the three string two fret you can. If you want to, with your thumb, reach around and grab the six string one fret. I think that's actually what Jason Isbell is doing. But if you want to leave the third string open and just kind of strum strings five, four, three, two, and one, you can. But A minor to the G to the F. I think that does it three times. And on the third time, it's A minor to the G to the E minor. So this is the same E minor that we used in the intro to the F. A minor, G, then F, and holds on, on the F as the guitars are going. Um, whenever we get to the, and I'll show you that alternate guitar part in just a second, whenever we get to the bridge of the song where the solo is taking place, the bridge is going to be A minor to the E minor to the F chord. To the A minor to the E minor to the F, and it does that like four times. Uh, and on the last time it builds on the F where you just downstroke 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and I'm palm muting where I take uh, kind of the fleshy part of my palm, lay it directly across the saddle, and then just palm mute through that. So it builds on the F before uh, coming to a C chord. So this is the first chord of the last chorus. Usually our choruses begin on an A minor. This one begins on a C, goes to G, then F. Back to the A minor, back to the G, back to the F. Back to the A minor, back to the G, back to the E minor, back to the F. It gets easier. Uh, goes back to the C, G, and then the F again. Okay, so those are the chords. The uh, There's a distinct guitar part that's happening that's really simple. That melody right there. That would be the three string 10 fret to the three string nine fret to the three string seven fret to the four string seven fret. And there are different areas on the fretboard to play this, but I like it right there because it's heavier gauge strings. Oh, let me back up. The uh, fiddle, the, uh, the fiddle and the intro, that little part, you would slide with your ring or pinky finger on the 4 string 5 fret to the 4 string 7 fret, and then first finger to the 3 string 4 fret, second finger to the 3 string 5 fret, so we've got, and then you're going to come back to your first finger on the 3 string 4 fret, and then there's a quick little, little pull off uh, where it goes Third string, it's all in the third string. Also, this is being played on a fiddle, but this would be it transposed to a guitar. Um, there's a little series of pull-offs that goes four fret, two fret, open, three string. That I'm playing pinky first, open. And then first finger to the three string, two fret. And something, I use my second finger to the four string, two fret. And then open four string, five string, three fret hammer on four string two fret and then it just repeats and then open four five string three fret where the guitar okay lastly um, I think in the intro here I played a little bit of the solo. The, so the lead guitar solo is longer than what I played, but just to give you the beginnings of it. Um, yeah, I think it starts by bending the second string 5 fret up to, basically you're bending that note up to the second string 6 fret. But And actually I think it bends and then hits the open one string behind it. And then brings back down to the five string, back down to the two string five fret. And then first finger to the five string three fret. And then first finger to the two string one fret. So we've gone five, three, one, all on the two string. And then. Um, slide up to the three string four fret. 
hit that twice, come down to the three string two fret, then open up the three string and go four string two fret. And then you'll hit the four string three fret. So. Then after that F note, it sounds like, I think that's the chord that gets played. That is ring finger on the four string seven fret, and then your first finger barring the fifth fret of strings three, two, and one. And then that repeats. Uh, it repeats the part on the second string in one string. The second round goes. Uh, what does the second round do? Yeah, so the second round slides up to the three string four fret, then comes up to the three string five fret, and then three string two fret to three string open. And then back to the three string two fret where it builds and kind of walks from the three string two fret to three string four fret to three string five fret and then everything falls out for the electric coming back in on the C chord where uh, the last chorus is beginning. So uh, that might not be note for note perfect the whole way through, but as far as the chords go, those are absolutely correct chords. Um, the, the lead parts are just kind of my take on where, you know, what can get you close to it there. All right, so those are the chords, the movements to It Gets Easier by Jason Isabel. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.